One of those over here. There's something you need to know. Hello. Welcome to Dan Explains It All. Today we're here to talk about Ma. Ma is a microphone audio workstation. It's uh, an effect pedal for mic stuff. There's an XLR in or a quarter inch in if you really need it. A switchable saturation section. A switchable multi effect section two reverbs, uh, short delay, octaves, and phaser. Uh, send return, so you can add your own effects pedals into its signal chain. Another multi-effects section with two more reverbs, a long delay, a uh, flanger, and a rotary effect. And it all goes out through either an XLR or a quarter inch. And there's also a dry XLR that's post-saturation. So obviously there's a lot of stuff you could do with it. Um, if I'm just kind of spitballing, like naming a few things off the top of my head that you could affect, uh, maybe like a voice, drums, and an organ. Let's see what Ma can do on the voice. Uh, let's just start with some saturation. I can blend between a boosted signal and a distorted signal. There's a master volume and tone control. And those just control the, uh, the saturation section. So your main input volume is uh, active all the time and then this extra volume gets switched in when you turn that saturation on. So that sounds pretty nice, I think. Maybe we could do uh, reverb one. Cash cow. Oh, <laughs> hey Ryan. Cash cow. Uh, Ryan. Real cash cow. Uh, hey. Hey, uh, Ryan. This, the... It's a real cash cow. What a guy. That's my good friend, Ryan. So let's hear that reverb one. Control one affects the body of the reverb. Control 2 affects the trails. It's uh, kind of a short to long reverb depending on where you set those. Then reverb 2 is a much longer reverb. So control 1 affects a pre-delay. And then control 2 once more affects the trails. And speaking of trails, every effect in Ma has trails. One of my favorite effects on a voice is a short delay. Control one is the time, control two is the feedback. Let's so max out the time and max out the feedback. Notice how it's not oscillating, just continuing forever. Turn it off, it's stuck in the trails forever. It's a looper now, cool. So I guess there's just one more thing we should do on voice, and it's the thing that everyone wants to do when they sing into something. Octus. Control one. brings an upper octave in. Control two, brings a lower octave in. 
mix to taste. I, uh, hey. Boy, oh boy. Brent is a great drummer, isn't he? We're also very good friends, so I'm sure he wouldn't mind me drastically altering his sound. Let's start with the snare and try reverb 4 over on effect B. Reverb 4 is a lot like reverb 2, but without the extra long, dark trails. So control 1 is still pre-delay. Weird. Control 2 is the length of the trails. Super washing. Is this uh, good to go? Ah, perfect. Thanks. I want to hear some fuzz on this snare. Yeah, there we go. That's my favorite drum sound. I forgot to mention the phaser over on effect A, so let's put that in. Control 1 sets the rate, and Control 2 sets the depth. Just like a really good, normal snare sound. Did I mention that these are clever foot switches? You can tap for latching operation or hold for momentary. Uh, let's turn the alpha on off for a little bit of clarity. And I'll just blend in the phaser momentarily. I can also send little bits of signal to a reverb. Tap to turn it off, and then I'll hold to turn it on. So now let's check out the long delay. Let's put it on the overheads. So again, control one is time, and control two is feedback, but this delay can go almost up to a second. Ah, Ben, not only a great organist, but also another person that would tell you what an amazing friend I am if they weren't so busy right now. Let's put some flanger on his keys. Control 1 sets the rate. Control 2 sets the depth. It's real goofy at the top. Dial it back, you get a nice subtle sound. This rotary is a bit of a different modulation. It splits your signal into highs and lows and adds tremolo to both of those. So control one sets the rate of your low tremolo. Control two sets the rate of the highs. So you can set them to different speeds to get almost like a rotating speed type effect. Add a little bit of pitch. Even more organ -y. organ -esque. Organic, I guess. Uh, I'm uh, trying to express myself. Do you have anything for that? Uh, yeah. Make it a double. 
By plugging in the Old Blood Noise Endeavor's expression slider, I can change effects on the fly. So right now I'm maxing out feedback on the organ. On both of the delay modes. So this is something that you could set on your mic stand or really just uh, wherever you want to be able to control parameters on the fly without having to be near a knob. We'll just set them at around midway. So that's it. That's Ma. Uh, uses standard 9 volt power. It's a fair amount of it, something 200 milliamps or something like that. It's got that clever switching, uh, trails on all the effects. It's just a whole suite of sounds you can use on a microphone. You can use it uh, alone in your room, you can use it alone in public, you can, you can use it alone somewhere. Do, do you see what I'm trying to say? That maybe you should go back to whatever you were doing before this? I'm trying to watch the band.